Hi fire signs, Leo, Aries and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we are going to find out how does your person on your mind feel about you since they last saw you. The, uh, to book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 19th of March 2023. Time here in Genoa. Italy is 10.13 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for fire signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same fire sign. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. The person on their mind right now, how do they feel about them since they last saw them? Four ones at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Let me see. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. King of Wands. Ten of Wands in reverse. Hmm. The King and the Queen. The King is looking towards the left while the Queen is looking towards the right. But the Lover is here. It's right in the middle. Huh. Interesting. So, four swords. They actually, your person has been thinking about you since they last saw you, okay? They could be wondering if you feel something for them. Eight of Wands. A lot of movements here. So, something about both of you have done with each other, to each other. And the Lovers is a very sexual energy as well. So... For some of you, if you were intimate with your person the last time you saw them, which is, it, you know, intimacy could be anything. It could be a hug, it could be a kiss, it could be holding hands or sleeping together or some sort of intimacy, okay? Or communication, eight of wands, passionate communication. So I, I do sense um, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, your person could be feeling that... I feel like they've been replaying this intimacy in their head because swords indicates thoughts, right? Thoughts, thinking a lot. So they've been thinking about this physical intimacy or passionate conversation that both of you have had with each other. They could be also wondering if you feel something as they do do feel something for you right now okay because again the queen is looking towards the right and the king is looking towards the left so it's like not on the same page so they could be wondering right four swords right here just thinking like do you feel what they're feeling for you right now that's what i'm seeing here and the judgment like it he he or she keeps bringing up these memories, right? Replaying these memories of your last interaction could be physical or conversation, okay? And we've got the death here in reverse. Since they last saw you, they may want to see you again. They feel like they don't want this to be the end because the death in moments can indicate a delayed ending or someone doesn't want to accept that this has ended or just don't want this to end in general okay so they may be feeling like i don't want this to end i do want to see leo aries and sagittarius again because i am very passionate about them okay so this person your person is passionate about you for sure because all the wands here are in an upright position but the ten of wands here is in reverse though so they could be wondering if you know ever since they last saw you have you been thinking about them have you been feeling the same way that they've been feeling for you since they last saw you they may also feel like Perhaps both of you need to talk about something important here because judgment is of a major kind of, so it's, it's very important, right? In regards of how to work on this connection or how to move forward, 
I don't know. There's something about... Mm, see, the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles is one person, one person here. They feel very connected to you, I would say, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They don't feel alone somehow because they are in reverse. Or they want to feel that... I keep getting the same message where they could be wondering if you... If they're alone in this, if they're feeling this way on their own by themselves, or is it mutual, right, with the lovers here? And they could be questioning that, right? They also could also be feeling like maybe they're not alone anymore since they met you. Maybe they're not alone anymore, like you are actually understanding, kind of understanding them in a sense, or wondering if you did understand what they were trying to say to you at one point okay all the last time when both of you saw each other i'm gonna pull out a few more cards here okay my nose is still stuffy i i would say they were very comfortable with you since they last saw you they feel comfortable they look for with the three of wands here, or wondering, thinking about the future. They could be wondering um, if there could be a future for the both of you. Will both of you see each other again? Is there something in this connection where it could turn into more? Will this connection be? Will this connection become official if it's not if it's not official yet or? Something about moving in together as well. Will both of you move in together? Will both of you get married? Will both of you take the relationship to the next level? Unless if this is like a friend, then they could be just looking forward to spending more time with you. I do feel um, Leo, Aries, and Sag, the world here is in first. That means they are still in this chapter with you, right? Still looking forward to maintain this connection with you. I don't see them wanting this connection to end. I see them really are very passionate about this connection. The last time they saw you, they found you to be very attractive. They were, you know, with the lovers. Of course, these cards are attractive cards. So they found you to be very attractive. They were very attracted to you obviously and they want to see you again they could also be thinking back about when both of you were together for once in a house in a hotel in a room can be anywhere but inside a building here okay whatever that happened inside a building <laughs> the three of ones can okay maybe this person you know for some of you not all of you obviously but three of ones is a bit of a long distance energy like um maybe both of you are at a distance from each other for some of you if that's the case they could be feeling like will will it be possible for both of you to will it be possible for both of you to actually finally settle down like see each other and either they move to you or you move to them because for once like you know putting down the roots kind of thing so the Ace of Wands here is in reverse. Let's just see a little bit more. I do sense them feeling like they shouldn't be thinking that much about you. That they should be focusing on their work. So your person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Another storyline I'm seeing here, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, about your person is that for those of you, if you're in a third party situation, because three of pentacles can indicate that and the lovers can indicate, and there are actually three people here and then with the three of wands. Only for those of you in a third party situation, if that's the case, they could be feeling as though whether they should actually give up on this connection. Yeah, like stop investing in this connection because maybe because you have somebody else. Unless roles are being reversed here, the other ones with someone else and you, then they could be feeling like they need to make a choice that they eventually may have to give up on one of you, you or the other person. 
Yeah, Three of Cups in reverse. It's as though this cannot go on for too long. This third party situation cannot go on for too long. Like someone will have to make a choice because the lovers indicates a choice as well. Whether it's you needing to make that choice or they need, need to make that choice. If this is a third party situation, again, if it's not, you know, I do sense them feeling like they need to focus on their work, although they can't take you out of Take you out of their mind. All right. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius is your reading. And I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Tarot 2.0. And don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you like to be notified every time when I post your videos. Um, yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.